everyone, Danny from Surfer here with some easy to understand and not boring SEO insights that will help you skyrocket your organic traffic and become an industry leader within your field. Today's topic is content optimization with the hopes of, you guessed it, ranking higher. Let's start with the basics, shall we? What is content optimization and why does it even matter? It's basically making your content as legible, engaging, shareable, and valuable as possible. You can do this through, for example, SEO, you know, for Google and the rest of the search engine game, amazing copywriting, choosing the right keywords, and by getting relevant links. The better optimized your website is, the better your chances of ranking on Google. Side note, internal links, they really work. How many times have you found yourself falling down a Wikipedia hole? Not only do internal links help establish topical authority, they improve the amount of time spent on your website. Topical authority matters because it tells Google and other search engines that your content is reliable and you're an authority. So when it's time to rank for related keywords, you should show up. Topical authority is a concept within SEO where a website aims to become the go-to authority on one or more topics. Establishing topical authority is about helping search engines understand a website's topic so that it has a better potential to rank for topically related keywords. Let's say you want to rank articles around the topic of vegan protein. Writing just one article targeting vegan protein is not enough to compete in this niche because it's huge and extremely general. You couldn't possibly cover all there is to know about vegan protein in one article. In order to build topical authority, you need to cover this topic from 360 degree angle. What is vegan protein? Sources of vegan protein? The importance of vegan protein? How to make the most of vegan protein? What to know before switching to vegan protein? These are all examples of the types of articles that would signal to Google that you're an expert in vegan protein, aka topical authority. Pages that are optimized make Google and the reader happy. Happy readers come back, and happy readers who come back time and time again are more likely to become happy customers. So here are three strategies to help you optimize your content and make your way to the coveted first page. Match search intent. But Danny, what's that? Okay, I created a whole video about search intent, but here's a quick explanation. When you say, for example, what is pizza versus pizza near me, versus best pizza ovens versus Papa John's login, you have a different intent behind each search. One is purely informational. One is you're hungry and you're trying to get to a pizza spot. The other is some research, you know, comparison and contrast. And lastly, you're just trying to take a shortcut and navigate to the login and order the pizza you've been dreaming about. Each of these search queries are different. Just because you're interested in the history of pizza doesn't mean you're actually trying to order a pizza at the moment. When you match search intent, you're able to provide relevant information and Google and humans love that. Don't forget that when you use Surfer's keyword research tool, you can check both search intent and search volume. What's Surfer's keyword research tool, you ask? It's an incredible tool that will support your keyword research and content strategy efforts. Remember my spiel on topical authority? Well, the best part about keyword research is that those clusters are all different article ideas related to your main keyword. You're building out several different angles all related to one central topic, so your topical authority is sorta of, kinda on autopilot if you follow the top cluster suggestions within keyword research. It allows you to create a whole content plan with one click and understand the volume of organic traffic you can get by getting into the specific cluster. When you open Surface Dashboard, click Keyword Research. From there, you'll type in one keyword and select the country. The broader the keyword, the more suggestions you'll receive. For example, vegan protein versus how to create vegan protein at home. Click Create Keyword Research. And then you'll get a list of topic clusters you can filter based on search volume, search intent, and a range of keywords. Search intent matters as it helps you match with a particular audience and by matching it, you increase your chances of ranking for a particular keyword. Okay, now I really want vegan pizza, but let's move on to the second tip, shall we? Number two, make your content easy to read. It may seem obvious, but I've seen some websites, oh my goodness, from spammy pop-ups to incoherent structure, what a mess. If your content is organized and easy to digest, your readers will be able to find the answers to their questions much easier, spend longer on your page, and perhaps come back more often. 
These are all winks to Google that your content is relevant, useful, and deserves to be seen, aka show up on the SERPs. Headings, images, subheadings, bullet points, bold and italics, short paragraphs, infographics, shareable charts. These things not only help make your content more legible, they make your content skimmable and shareable. Organized content also makes it easier for the crawlers to do their job. Just in case you'd rather focus on writing and less on formatting, inside Surfer's Content Editor, you'll see a recommended number to guide you on ideal word count, paragraphs, images, and headings. The word count suggestion is far from random. It's basically based on your top competitors who currently rank for the same keywords you're vying for. Now, if it were up to me, I'd write a cool 300 words, but that won't always cut it. Tip number three is a good one. Include semantically related keywords. That basically means not just targeting your broad or main keyword, but including others that are often related. If you don't know which to include, all you have to do is type in your main keyword into Surfer's Content Editor, and then you'll get dozens of keywords to include, all based on natural language processing, or NLP, and a suggestion on keyword density, aka how many times you should include the keyword based on the relevance and length of the article. That way, you also avoid keyword stuffing. If the term NLP is unfamiliar to you, don't worry, I'll explain it briefly. It's a machine learning algorithm component that Google released with its BERT algorithm update, and it uses it to improve its understanding of content. It factors in things like sentiment, aka the emotion of a word, sentence, or a page, context, and other entities. So instead of taking things out of context, it's able to see a full, complete picture of the text and better understand its relevance to the user, the context of the keywords, and where this article should show up in terms of keywords, intent, and usefulness. Since Surfer highlights NLP terms, you can rest assured that you're using words and expressions Google feels are noteworthy and worth highlighting. The more relevant your content is, the more visible it'll be. And the more visibility you have, the more traffic and potential customers, right? Oh. You can also install Surfer's free Chrome extension to detect similar keywords, or like I mentioned earlier, you can utilize Surfer's keyword research tool to get dozens of topic clusters just bursting with semantically rated keywords. Okay, so I may have given you three tips here, but there are actually eight more tips just waiting to be applied to your content strategy. You can find all of them on Surfer's blog. Today, we broke down search intent, which is the reason or purpose people are typing in a search query into Google, and why it even matters in terms of relevancy for your audience and ranking on the SERPs. The four types of search intent, which are transactional, navigational, informational, and commercial. There's a fifth one too, local, which is just like it sounds, things near me. We also went into NLP, or natural language processing, Google's way of understanding the context of an article or page, and why Surfer's keyword research tool considers it important enough to track. And lastly, I shared three of Surfer's tools you can use to find semantically related keywords, aka Keyword Surfer, our free Chrome extension, Keyword Research Tool for dozens of topic clusters, and Surfer's Content Editor, which you can use to create an article which ranks for multiple keywords, aka more visibility, more people reached, and more potential traffic and leads. Okay, so I'm gonna go Google vegan pizza near me. Say it with me, local search intent, while you check out the rest of these amazing tips. I'm Danny, it's been awesome, happy surfing. Pam, pam, again. So, here are three strategies. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I was doing with my hands. <laughs> no? Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Danny. It's been awesome and happy surfing. Bye.